The images are shocking. Men wearing military uniforms threaten to cut the victim's throat, kill him and burn him. Al Jazeera verified the video and found out that it's recorded on May 30 this year on a mobile phone. And the Papuan man being tortured is Tunaliwar Kiwo, a farmer. The video is so graphic, we have blurred the most extreme scenes, especially the part where the interrogators burn the man's genitals. Al Jazeera understands that the video was recorded in Punchak Jaya, in the highlands of Papua. The military says it's fighting a group of separatists of the Free Papua movement in the area. According to the Indonesian Human Rights Commission, at least 50 people have died in the past few months. Thousands are on the run. The military has been fighting the rebels since Papua became part of Indonesia in the 1960s, a historical event that most Papuans regard as an illegal annexation. Although the Free Papua movement is small and badly armed, it has widespread support among the Papuan people, who feel they are badly treated and discriminated. Al Jazeera and other foreign media are being banned from traveling to Papua. The Indonesian human rights record uh, dying a death of a thousand cuts. We're seeing video by video coming out and the credibility of the Indonesian government uh, in their commitments on human rights diminishing day by day. The military commander in Papua told Al Jazeera, I don't know if this has happened. All I can say that there are no human rights violations in Papua since I have been in charge, unless they are personal fights, but nothing structural. If this is really true, whoever did this will be punished according to military law. But allegations of violence are not all on one side. These images show what appears to be the aftermath of an attack by the Free Papua Movement on construction workers. It shows Papua is in the midst of a conflict. Uh, We're very sad. History keeps repeating itself since 1963. We keep experiencing violence. It's become so bad we can't cope with this life anymore. Another torture video, another setback for the Indonesian government, who claims that these practices belong to a dark past. But this video now appears to show that even in modern-day Indonesia, in some isolated and neglected parts, this dark past still seems to live on. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.